I continue to work on my portable electronics workbench and this thing's really coming out nice. I showed in a previous film on Friday how I printed the drawers. Well, those are all done. All the latch and the handle, everything's working out nicely. So I decided to put my logo on the front door. And I, for this, I used my X-Carve CNC using Easel software. Let me show you how I did it on today's CNC Sunday. I opened easel.com software within my browser. It's in the cloud. And I set the board size to 14 inches by 14 inches. And then here's the logo that I actually imported. So let me show you. Just go File, Import SVG, and then you just import your logo. And then, or your image, whatever you got. And then I sized it, and then I needed to center it. So I grabbed it and then just selected the centering tools here, both top and bottom. And then I actually slid it down just a little bit so the letters, the center of the letters, was centered to the board. And then I just slid down the slider for the depth that worked out to this really strange 08611 uh, setting. But it, it looked good when I ran a test print or a test cut. Now the letters, I did them with a fill. So they're going to cut solid, cut right out with a fill. But the line around it here, it would not do a fill. So I had to click on outline and then click on path. So it cut on path. And then once that was set... Uh, then I went up to the settings here. I did the bit size of 0.115. I actually measured my bit. I like to do that. Here's the settings, and this is really for birch plywood, but I set the depth to 0.025. So it's going to take about five passes to get through this. And then I clicked on simulate, which is relatively new in easel. I haven't used that that much. But it shows the red is where the head moves and blue is where it actually carves. So this looks good. There wasn't, you know, missing letters or anything. So... I was ready to click on carve and send it right to the machine. And here it is cutting it out. I didn't get the whole thing. I started the time lapse too late. But you can see it's just cutting layer by layer going down and it's like five loops here. And then it was done. And then when it got to the electronics, this is where I was a little concerned because I did cut a different board just to test. And the letters were a little bit rough, but I did that on plywood. Well, this wood's a lot better and they came out fantastic. Now my first thoughts originally were to paint this so the letters would be one color and then I could sand the wood so it would be a color against bare wood. But I really like this old stain that's on this and it gives it kind of a beat up uh, work look. So I left it and so now all I need to do is install it onto the portable box. So the screws were already set when I took this thing off. So all I did was screw on one side and then screw the other and then just finish the rest of the screws and it fit perfectly. It, it was, you know, this was a no brainer, no big deal. And then once it was done, I flipped it up and I love the way it looked. This came out better than I expected. So the next thing I want to do is print some brackets for the back, 3D print them for the laptop so I can bring my laptop with me if I need to write some code. So that'll be a future film on Friday. If you don't want to miss that, click on my logo down here to subscribe. And if you want to see how I made this, click on the videos over here. It'll take you to this and other projects. And if you want to help support the channel, click on my Patreon. A dollar a month is all I ask. So that's it for this episode. I'll see you next time.